Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the Vibe Calendar add-on. So, a, the Calendar add-on is for creating events in your WPLMS site and it works with the Event on Calendar and you can create public and private events. Let's see how this works. So, to install the plugin, you can straight away go to the Setup Wizard from the WP Admin Appearance Setup Wizard panel and then you can rerun the setup wizard and in the features you will see that we have a calendar add-on and you can proceed with it and in the next step you should see the option to install the add-on so once you have installed this plugin you can go to the appearance and menu section make sure you have enabled the buddy press and we can add the and we can add the calendar in the menu and save the menu once you have saved the menu you can go to the ybp settings and in the buddy press we'll click on refresh buddy press navigation so once you have done that, you should see the mic, the calendar option in the profile menu of the user. And when we click on it, we see that we have the my events, my invites. And if you have installed any conferencing plugin such as Jis Jitsi or BBB or Zoom, you'll also see the options. This is like a personal calendar for the user, wherein all the events that happen on the site are listed and the user can switch the views from month week day to list view and on simply clicking on the event it shows up the event details so if the user is also the author of the event then you'll see the option to edit event by default the add event button will only appear for instructors and administrators and this is configurable this is controlled from the ybp settings and in the who can create events you can select instructor administrator or student so by default it is the instructor who has instructor and administrator who have the controls to create we'll see the control to add the event and when we click on the add event we see that we have the following options so the first option is event title so this is a label which you can enter and it is visible on the calendar as well for easier recognition then we have the event description which is using the standard editor and you can write in so once we have created the event details you can enter the event labels so event labels will appear only if you have created these labels so important point that if you click outside this box the the event creation box then the event creation box will close so right now we don't have any event labels created hence we are not able to add any event then we have the event color so this is a very important property which will distinguish out your event in the calendar and we can give an event color then we have the start and the end so for example we have a event starting on Thursday and we can give the specify the time and we can set this event as invite only or a public event which anyone can join so for invite only events we will have to add the members separately in this event and they'll get a notification to accept the invite in the my invites section so let's see how this works and we create the event so here you can see that we have the event created and this is the description for the event and we can edit this event 
and in and send invites to the participants so only after the event is created we can send invites to other participants so here we can send and we can send the invite so these are the invited members and now if we check from a student account in the calendar so all the public events will appear in the calendar because there are by default anyone can join these events the student also gets an option to hide the event from the calendar if the user is not interested in the public event then in the my invites we have the event in for which the invite was sent and we can accept the event or delete the invite so if we accept we get the event in my events now let's create a public event for a public event we need to click on add event and we will give a description and we can write the description and we can set a color then we have to set the start date and the ending date along with the times so I'm going to create this uh, recurring event which means this event is going to reoccur after a uh, time gap. So when I enable recurring event there are two options that this event will recur every day or on specific weekdays. So if I say this event is going to recur every day then for every day between the start and the end dates this event is going to occur for example i set the starting date as 5 and the ending date as 24 so every day from 5th of november to 24th of november this event is going to occur and at this but at this specific time which is 5 pm to 6 pm i'm going to have this event every day and it's going to be a private event if I say anyone can join then this is going to be a public event and we'll see more differences between a public and the private event in few minutes and now if I select that this is going to recur on specific weekdays then as soon as I select weekdays I get the weekly schedule here and I can select that this particular event between November 5th to 24th from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. is going to occur on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. We have set the color and now if we create the event you can see that we have our event from 5th to 24th and it was recurring on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So the immediate Friday the event is there. And you can see that it it is reoccurring this event is reoccurring and is displayed in the calendar now the public events are visible on the site for example if we can edit our home page and on the home page we can add the we can add the vibe calendar widget we can simply go and search calendar and here we have the vibe calendar widget which we can add in the elementor here we can select whether we are going to show a list style of events and we reload our page so this is our list style and if a event is spanning for two days then it appears like this the two subsequent days from which is the start and the end and this is the start time and the end time and the title of the event when we click on the event we are going to see the details for this event so next is the grid format and when we select grid and update and now if we reload here we see the grid format and we also see a excerpt of the event 
then we have the monthly calendar all the events that appear in this calendar are public events the private events such as the event which we created on fifth yoga class which was a private event this event will not appear in the public calendar so here we have the public events and one can click on it and it shows the description and starting and ending point of the event and the user can click on see details to see the entire details of the event similarly we have the weekly calendar so in the calendar format the number of events in view will not matter so here we have the weekly calendar and the users can simply use the arrow keys to fetch the events so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching